Welcome to a Schaefer battle between the Braun Series 7, the newer one with the turbo button, and the Braun Series 9 Pro. So here's how the video will work. I'm going to shave this half of my face with the Braun Series 7. I'm going to shave the other half of my face with the Braun Series 9 Pro. And then at the end, I will tell you the differences in which ones I like and didn't like and didn't prefer. So first up, let's, let's just start shaving with the Braun Series 7 over here. So it's been uh, three or four days since I've shaved, but so I've got pretty good stubble going on here. But I wanted to give a close up of the Braun Series 7 here. It has three cutting surfaces on the top here, and it does cut up to, when you put it in the turbo mode, which I'll cover in just a second, it gets up to 26,000 cutting actions per minute. But I also wanted to show you the 360 flex head here. It goes back and forth that way, and it goes forward and back, so we can do those all at the same time to make it fairly comfortable and it allows it to move along your face around your cheekbones pretty easily. So the Braun Series 7, the newer models, the 7100 series models, they have a turbo button on them right here. So let's get close up. When you turn it on, there's a button right down here and you can see right now, nothing else is enabled. If I press it once, it highlights and puts me in turbo mode. If I press it again, it puts me in gentle mode. And then if I press it a third time, it leaves it back into standard mode. I'm gonna go up to turbo mode here. Uh, I do like to shave with turbo mode, but I've noticed when I shave in turbo mode, I need to move the shaver a little bit slower along my face because it takes you up to 26,000 cutting actions per minute. And I think the shaver just does a little better when I move it a little slower. It's always kind of tricky trying to shave half my face here, but I'm giving it my best shot. So now we're done with that side of my face with the brawn, Sear 7 I maybe missed little spot right there. Let me see if I can clean that up. Right there around the cheekbone. Sometimes you got to go over that an extra time or two. There's maybe a little bit down here at the bottom of my neck. But that is the Braun Series 7. As far as the gentle mode setting on it, I don't really use that one very much. I either stick to standard mode or turbo mode. But that is the Braun Series 7 there. Now let's go shave the other side of my face with the Braun Series 9 Pro. Oh, one important thing to highlight, the Braun Series 7 does not have an attached trimmer on the back of it, but the Braun Series 9 Pro does have an attached trimmer right on the back of it there for you. But I was, I was gonna give you a close up on this before I start shaving with it. It has four cutting surfaces on top of it as compared to the three cutting surfaces on the Braun Series 7. So now I'm just gonna start shaving with it and talk a little bit about it. Uh, here, let me go back to this. When you look at it, the, there's that gold colored strip across it. I wanted to talk about that. They have redesigned that from some previous versions of the Braun, the Braun Series 9, and that really helps with hair. If you like to let your hair go five, six, seven days, those longer hairs, that gold strip in there is really designed to help you get those longer, tough to get hairs there. And so they do say the Braun Series 9 Pro uh, works really well, even up to a seven day, seven day beard. And I can say, I can agree with that. It does do pretty good when you leave it for up to a week before you shave. All right, another thing that you can instantly feel and tell the difference with the Braun Series 9 Pro, uh, the Series 7, over here in the turbo mode got 26,000 cutting actions per minute. The Braun Series 9 Pro does 40,000 cutting actions per minute. So you can feel the difference. It just feels a little bit more powerful. And I think because of that and because of the increased speed, uh, I think it shaves even faster for you because I think it's getting, it's cutting more hairs on every pass because there's a little bit more power.
One of the common complaints I hear about the bronze is getting the hair on your neck and it can be a little tricky. The uh, trick I've discovered is instead of just always going up and down on your neck, turn and go side to side and I sometimes feel like that helps me get the hairs on my neck just a little bit better. Because the, the head on the Braun Series 7 is just a little bit smaller, I sometimes feel like it's the Braun Series 7 does a little bit better job of getting the upper lip and right underneath your nose a little bit better. And see, I can even feel the difference there. So uh, that's maybe one area where I feel like I have to work a little bit harder with the Series 9 Pro. Alright, so now that we are done with this, they are both wet dry, so cleaning them is super simple. I can just pop the tops off of both of them. I'm not going to do it right here because some of the hair might fall on the ground, but uh, you can pop the tops off of them and just run them under the sink, shake them off and let them dry. But here's what I would say. I'm going to set them down to give myself a little bit of a feel here. And I, much like I expected, both of them give you a pretty close shave. The Braun Series 9 Pro it gives you an even closer shave. They're, they're both pretty close. I, I do like the Braun Series 7. I think it's a fantastic shaver, but the Braun Series 9 Pro, I mean, you pay more for it, but it really is, it is a superior shaver as far as you can shave faster. There's less tugging and pulling with it. I don't know if you can kind of see my neck. Uh, there's a little redness on both sides of my neck. Uh, I've used both the shavers before. Neither one of them are really going to leave me with any uh, irritation to speak of. The redness will go away pretty soon, but uh, I don't end up with rash or anything from either one of them. So they both do pretty a pretty good job with comfort, but that's what I would say. I would I would pick if they were both sitting on my desk and I had to shave with one, I'd go with the Braun Series 9 Pro. It's just a nicer razor, but that's not to discount the Braun Series 7. It's also a fantastic razor as well, but there's my comparison between the two. I think they're both great, but the Braun Series 9 Pro is the one I'd go with. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about the Braun Series 7 with the turbo mode, click up here. If you want to know more about the Braun Series 9 Pro, click up here.